You can put any celebrity in, attach them to any company, and they can be the face of it and tell people about it. But I think at the end of the day, it's about the quality of the product. Hollywood star Jessica Alba used to sell fantasies to men. You don't want to walk around on fire for the rest of your life, do you? Now she's selling everything from diapers to laundry detergent to tampons. Our thinking here was how do you do something graphic that represents the flow? So you have small dots, bigger dots, and biggest dots. Yes. Feminine Care is just the latest product line from The Honest Company, the health and home brand Alba co-founded four years ago, marketing what it calls safe and non-toxic products. Why Femcare? Our customers wanted it, and they asked us for so many years to give them a safer and healthier alternative. Most people go through 11,000 pads or tampons in their lifetime, and if you think of where it's going, it's really touching your most vulnerable um, sensitive areas of a woman's body. And while Honest isn't the first company to market itself as safe and pure, the company's messaging gets a lot of attention and financial backing because of its star power. Honest is now worth $1.7 billion, and co-founder Brian Lee suggests industry giants could learn a thing or two from the company. We would welcome them to make changes to their own products, truthfully. If they could ban over the 1,200 chemicals that we do not use in our products, we would absolutely welcome that. But on its website, the company only lists about 40 ingredients that it excludes from its products. Less toxic, safe. For some critics, it's just code for expensive in the consumer packaged goods or CPG category. We're not a discount brand. Would we like to make our products more affordable as we scale? Absolutely. But right now, in order for us to be a business, we have to make some type of margin. We're about 10 to 20% more expensive than traditional CPG brands. But there's a reason for that. We use better ingredients. And while Honest pulled in $150 million in revenue last year, that's tiny compared to industry leaders. Procter & Gamble and Kimberly Clark generated a combined $102 billion in sales. Their brands are everywhere, and the companies stand by the safety of their products. Honest, I mean, it, it's sort of like a, it suggests that the other companies aren't. Is that what you guys had in mind? Not at all. Um, you know, my daughter's name is Honor, and she inspired me to start the company, so that's where the name Honest came from. How do you define success for the Honest brand? It's being in everyone's home. Uh, whether you have kids or not, it would be great if you really relied and trusted uh, that the Honest Company met your needs as a modern person.